Greetings, Wayne Hackman here, and this is my next instalment in my Raspberry PA PBX phone server vlog. Um, and today I'm going to install the SD card. I'm just going to briefly tell you what I've done for your information, and in the next video I'm going to turn it on for the first time. So before I put the PBX software on, I thought I would download from the Raspberry PI website, which is www.raspberrypi.org. I'd go to their download site, and I would um, click on the download tab, and I'm going to download their operating system, the actual recommended operating system, uh, one of three that Raspberry Pi say you should put on it. So I'm, I clicked on the direct link, um, which is Wheezy, which is a, is, is a, um, a variation of a Linux operating system. So I downloaded that and it gave me a zip file, which I unzipped and then gave me a disk image. This is on my other screen. Okay. I then downloaded something called Win32 Disk Imager. The link is on the same site. Okay, and when you download it um, you, and unzip it, you can click open a file, and that will um, basically enable you to point to that disk image that you've downloaded, point to the SD card, uh, and in this case, I'm just using a two gig SD card um, as an experiment. And then once you've done that, you hit right and Bob's your uncle, that image is put onto the SD card, ready to be then put into the Raspberry Pi and set to go. So I thought I would try out uh, with this um, this Linux operating system before I had a go with the PBX server. I just wanted to see what this machine was capable of. So if you have been watching, I'd greatly appreciate it. Please like, subscribe and do all of the things that YouTubers do and have one on me.